Hi Virgos, Trishna here. Welcome to your July 2019 reading. So what I'm feeling for you leading up into July is I feel like you have been really working on something. You have been on top of your game. You have been so focused. You have just been trying to hone in on your craft and it has just been perfect. On point, you're just doing an awesome job. You're excited about it and I'm proud of you. Like I feel like you you've just been working so hard and so effectively, like working hard on all the right things and really trying to focus a lot more. And it's been doing, it's been really, really good for you. And you've been doing really great at whatever it is. That's, that's really awesome. What I'm feeling for July is I feel like there's somebody that maybe you've been working with. They don't have to be male, but I'm seeing them as male. And you've been working with them in some way. Maybe you work for them. Maybe they are a mentor, maybe they're a partner, maybe they are a teacher. There's just been somebody in your vicinity that you've been working with and I feel like this person, despite what their actual intentions may be, I don't feel like their intentions are negative, I f but regardless, I feel like they have been holding you back from your success. They have, yeah, they've been holding you back from your success and I think that you have started to realize this more consciously than before. And I think that you have started to outgrow them. And you've also started to lose some respect for them because part of why they've been holding you back may also have something to do with them maybe making promises or setting certain expectations that they did not really mean to ever fulfill. So maybe they said that, maybe they made a certain promise, but they never actually had the intention of fulfilling that promise. It was just something that they said to you for whatever reason. And you're starting to realize, you know, okay, you're not really, you know, you promise a lot of things, but you don't really deliver. So, you know, I think there's a little bit of loss of respect for them that I think you feel and then you, you know you have outgrown them I think you have realized maybe through this engagement that you have a lot more to offer than you thought that you did before and so you know in a way this is very positive I think I think it's kind of good that you met this person even though you know they were they may not have really done entirely right by you now what their intentions I you know were their intentions to actually thwart you I don't think so but you know Regardless of what their intentions are, they have been holding you back. That's just how it is. Sorry for all the cuts. I was running out of space, but I'm back now. So, so yeah, so you've been working with somebody who hasn't been very forthcoming who is, and who has held you back. And you're starting to realize that you've also started to outgrow them and maybe have even lost a little bit of respect for them by this point. And so now you have a decision to make. Is this somebody that you're going to continue to invest some time in or is this somebody that you're going to start to walk away from? What I'm feeling for you is that you should start walking away from this person. Like in your head, you may be thinking, you know, like, all right, this person kind of, you know, really isn't adding that much to my life right now. So maybe I will just meet with them, you know, in a limited capacity, you know, cut down the amount of time that I spend with them but still spend a little, you know, just give them a little, just cut out a lot of it. And, you know, I can have the best of both worlds. They can still be in my life and I don't really have to invest a lot of time, energy, effort, emotion, investment or whatever into that relationship. The thing though is that is that even when you invest just a little bit of time with this person, I feel like that's not really the best, the best option. I feel like you, you basically are going to have to remove this person from your life. And we'll talk a little bit more, more about that as we, as I continue with this video. But the reason why is because when you still invest time with somebody that is still taking up your time, that person is still in your environment and that has an impact on you and your psyche and your confidence and your ability to move forward. Because remember, this person has been holding you back from success. And I don't think it's necessarily in terms of the advice that they're giving you, I think it's in terms of <clears throat> the influence that maybe they've been putting on you or what they've been keeping you away from or where they've been focusing you instead of you being able to focus on your success. They've been pulling you away from your success in some way and they've been doing that because they have been allowed into your environment. You have been allowing them into your space. And, 
And so you want to remove that influence from from your space. And yes, like we can influence people without being in the same same place. Like I, I coach people from from all around the world and I have done readings for people all around the world. So you can tap into energy without having to be in the same space. But there is something to be said for somebody being in your environment and being that close because they're a lot more focused on you. You're right there. You're giving up your time. You are making your, you're moving towards them so you can both meet in the same location. There's a lot more that's going on, going on in there and they're going to continue to be able to influence you even if you only have, give them a little limited amount of time. So, <clears throat> you know, if you want to be successful, you're going to have to remove this person from your, your vicinity because they're not adding to that success and they're taking you away from it instead. Not only are they not adding, they're, they're taking you from. So how to do that? Now, I really think that that part depends on your situation. So I think for most of you, it'll be letting things start to fizzle out on their own, letting things start to fade out on their own. So maybe you spend a little bit of time with them you know, here and there, but you know that leads to things starting to fizzle out on their own. I do think that you will have to be the one that pulls the plug in the end. So even though it's fading out, you may end up being the one that still has to kind of really wrap things up because they're going to hang on even if it fades out. Like there's going to be a little part of them that continues to hang on regardless. So that's why it's probably going to have to be ball in your court to end it. So I think you judge the situation. You know, if ending it right now really makes the most sense, do it right now, but I think for most of you, wait for it to start to fizzle out and then there'll be a moment when you can just kind of kind of cut it. And I know that's kind of sad, but you really have outgrown this person and they really aren't adding that much to you. And that's fine, but then they're also taking. And you you have things to do. Like you have missions to complete, you have ambitions to pursue, you have goals to accomplish, like you have things to do, it's time to stop wasting your time. So that's what I'm getting for you for this month. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.